This is the apotheosis of George Washington. This painting was completed in 1865 by Italian artist Constantino Brimitti. He did that entire painting by himself in 11 months. It's a fresco, meaning you are painting on wet plaster. This is the same thing Michelangelo did in the Sistine Chapel. So you actually have to painting it in small portions because you want the plaster to still be wet when you apply the painting. So think of this as doing a jigsaw puzzle while also painting. And he does this in 11 months. Now, apotheosis from Greek means rising to a godlike level. And of course, it's referring to George Washington. You'll see him here. He is in a blue military coat with a pinkish purple robe over his lap. He's flanked by liberty and victory, and then surrounded by 13 maidens, harking back to those 13 original colonies. Then, on the perimeter of this, we see depictions of Roman gods and goddesses. And the idea of Rome here is that Rome is the foundation of the Republic. It's the first representative government in political history. So we're making our connections to the ancients. Right? We're the next great republic, right? And so we're making that connection. So we start here, the woman with the, the American flag shield is Bologna. She is the Roman goddess of war. And she is stamping on tyranny. To the right of that, we have Ceres, the goddess of agriculture, and even still in the 1860s, agriculture is a major portion of the American economy. This guy over here rocking the six-pack of beer, that is Vulcan, the god of forge and industry. You see they're producing weapons of war. Of course, what's going on in 1865 when he's painting this civil war, right? So contemporary issues are you know, threatening to wrench asunder that republic. Here we have Mercury, the god of money. And he's handing a sack of coin to Robert Morris of Pennsylvania, the first uh, superintendent of finance in the new American government. And this is where Vermidi actually signs the painting in 1865. You see, it's right there on that box. Right? And then over here, we've got Neptune, god of the sea, and they are laying the transatlantic cable. And then finally, you see Minerva, the goddess of knowledge and wisdom. So we've got inventors next to her. You see that right in there, right? 